So what you can see right here is a true knot in the umbilical cord. So have you ever seen this? For most of us that work in ops and gynae, work as midwives delivering babies regularly, they don't come along all that often where a baby's born with an actual knot in their umbilical cord. A true knot happens if a baby's moving around loads in early pregnancy and they can loop the cord into a knot. Now it sounds dangerous, right? But most of the time it's actually fine. The umbilical cord, it's slippery and it's covered in a protective substance called Wharton's jelly. And that stops the knot from pulling super tight. So in most cases, the baby is totally safe. So when is it a problem? Well, if the knot does get super tight, it can reduce the blood that's flowing to the baby. It may show up as the baby having reduced fetal movements in the third trimester. That's why monitoring your baby's movements is so important. I actually hear a lot of misconceptions about the umbilical cord, particularly people can be worried that the cord might be tightly wrapped around their baby's neck. Now, whilst this can also sound alarming, it's very rarely harmful, as usually babies can untwist themselves. A cord around the neck can show up during labour as a baby can drop their heart rate with each contraction, but it normalises very quickly and that's normal. It doesn't cause any harm or hypoxia to the baby. Sometimes when a baby is delivered, as the head is coming out, we can notice that the cord is tightly wrapped around the baby's neck, so we move quickly to release it to avoid it from tightening. So as the baby's head is coming out, we kind of manipulate the cord quickly and this is usually managed without causing any harm. Most babies that are born with a true knot or a cord around the neck are completely fine. But if you do ever notice any reduced movements in your baby, please always get checked out promptly. So did you know about this? Let me know below.